in 2023. Thanks so much for joining us. Christina, in the US, where lots of people are hearing headlines like this. Well, Dick, New York remains under a state of emergency tonight, and there is still a travel ban in the Buffalo area, with highways there shutting down for a fourth consecutive day. There have been more than 500 rescues throughout western New York since Friday. The governor warns it is too dangerous to drive, but thousands tonight are without heat or electricity. Now, the truth is that news is actually... A lot of people in places like the western part of New York weren't able to even listen to it. Of course, we've been talking about those severe weather storms across North America, stretching from Canada to the Mexican border. At least 62 people have been killed. Now, 28 bodies have been recovered in the western New York state alone, mostly in the city of Buffalo. President Biden has approved an emergency declaration allowing federal support for the state. Power, of course, a huge issue. Flights being disrupted as well. Let's get uh, the thoughts of Joe Palumbo, who runs Dam Guys, a company which removes snow and ice from buildings. They're based in Minneapolis. Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Um, busy time for you. Have you ever seen anything like this? Hi, Raul. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, I remember years back out in, um, out in the Boston, Massachusetts area, they had broke their all-time record out there. Um, that's about the only, that, that's about the worst of it. This, what's happening now in, in New York is just unprecedented. And it's only, we're only, we're not even into the new year yet. And they just broke their hundred inch snowfall record in certain counties. Are you able to keep up with the demand for your services? I presume you can't at the moment. You know, right now with all the roads uh, being shut down, there's not much we can do to get in there and, and help them. They have just asked everybody to stay off the roads and stay away. So we are just gathering our troops, if you will, and waiting for the go ahead that, it, you know, we can safely make it there and still have a roof over our heads at, you know, motels, hotels, etc. Just give us an idea of how busy your phone is. Well, the, I mean, the Phones ring to the point where the voicemail systems go down, the emails come in to where your outlook crashes. You know, it, there, there's a lot of people in need out there, no doubt. And if you just look at the, the, the sheer weight of that snow on rooftops is, you know, in our eyes is what we look at in terms of danger. Yes, there's road and car accidents and there's all kinds of horrible things happening. But in, in, in our business, what we're most concerned about is the weight on the roof and if you look at that snowfall in terms of what it weighs you know every inch of snow equates to about a pound of per square foot on a rooftop and when you're talking about a hundred inches of snow that equates to a hundred pounds per square foot on a rooftop that's if you if the average house is 2,000 square foot modestly you're talking eight or more mm. double-decker city buses parked on top of a roof, and that gets dangerous. That gets, that gets very dangerous. What we're seeing is a huge part of the U.S. economy coming to a standstill. So even when you can get in there and help businesses, help individuals to get going economically again, this is going to have a huge impact, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, this is going to take... I, I really think, uh, and there's no end in sight for the for the weather. So I just think it's going to take. Uh, I, I think they're going to stumble uh, this entire winter here, unless could this go on for months? Do you think? What's that? Could this go on for months? It, it could. I mean, we're we're not even in the snowiest the snowiest months yet. So this is unprecedented right now. I don't know where this could go. I hope it's. As, I hope we're in the worst of it, but. January and February and March are hugely snowy months. Joe, you know, we keep hearing, don't we, this is the worst blizzard to hit parts of the US this century. The likelihood is, though, we're going to see far worse ones in the years to come that are, are going to bring the economy to a standstill again. I, I believe you're correct. Uh, the, the storms seem to be spreading out, but growing in severity. So we'll have horrible winters and then we'll have three four or five winters of not a lot of precipitation but then when it comes it comes like it's never come before so it's you know i don't know if it's you know global warming i i don't know i'm not a meteorologist but when it when they hit they hit harder than they've ever hit mm. before that's that's for certain joe we're going to keep in touch with you over the course of the next few weeks thank you for joining us and giving us a 
a real graphic picture of the impact of the weather there in parts of the US. Well, all week here on the BBC 